the end of the rocket is near. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will put an end to the story of several of these characters, including Rocket Raccoon, played by Bradley Cooper. This being the last James Gunn project we will see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, also known as the MCU, as he will be in charge of the DC Cinematic Universe. James Gunn has hinted that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 will have a lot of deaths, leading audiences to wonder which members of the Guardians will meet a tragic end over the course of the film. Rocket Raccoon seems to be one of the most likely victims, especially after the first trailer confirmed that the film will explore his backstory and origin. The first trailer for the film even features Rocket in several harrowing scenes, again hinting that the beloved character will die a tragic death at the end of the film. Not only this, but it has been suggested that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 will be Rocket's last appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, ending the character's story arc. However, other characters such as Drax and Star-Lord have also been the subject of strong rumors about their deaths, leaving the film's death count a complete mystery. Of course, this leaves many of us intrigued, thinking about things like, will we really be seeing the end of Rocket? What details may have confirmed this event that we're yet to see? Will this be the end of Guardians of the Galaxy? Want to know more? Then stay tuned to this video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you don't miss any video of your favorite series and movies. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. In order to understand this theory, we first have to understand the origin of this character, and as we know, Rocket's origin in the MCU will be explored in this next installment of Guardians of the Galaxy. But this doesn't stop us from getting to know his story. In the comics, Rocket comes from a planet called Halfworld. Many years ago, a planetary-scale mental health center had been established on Halfworld, where humanoids were treated and provided with emotional support animals. Once the center lost funding, the doctors were forced to leave the planet, leaving robots in charge of the project. The robots were left to care for the patients, but they malfunctioned and began to deviate from their original programming, building large technological structures all over the planet, leaving them little time to care for patients. To ensure that patients continued to receive care, the robots began experimenting with emotional support animals. The creatures were given advanced intelligence, the ability to speak, and in some cases, cybernetic enhancements. As you may have gathered, Rocket was one of those emotional support animals. At first, Rocket was unaware of his true origin, and was surprised to learn the true purpose of the world he found himself in. Eventually, Rocket regained his memories, and in later comics such as Guardians of the Galaxy 8 published in 2019, he had a flashback to his time as a service animal, and the painful procedure that transformed him. In the comic Annihilators 3, published in 2012, it was revealed that some of Rocket's adventures in Halfword were false memories implanted inside him. This calls into question some of the events of his 1985 limited series. Despite this continuity curiosity, most elements of Rocket's presented origin appear to be canon. In the MCU, it's a bit different. Subject 89P13 is a creature that was genetically enhanced by the High Evolutionary, nicknamed Rocket Raccoon. He traveled the galaxy with his friend Groot, committing crimes and collecting rewards until they met Star-Lord, who convinced them to help him sell the orb, which was being sought by Ronan the Accuser, to deliver it to Thanos. However, when they discovered that the orb contained the Power Stone, Rocket was convinced to risk everything to stop Ronan's plans to use the Infinity Stone to destroy Xander. During the ensuing conflict, Rocket managed to help his friends destroy Ronan, although Groot was killed. This was the first death in the Guardians of the Galaxy group, as Groot sacrificed himself. 
Rocket then became a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, along with the newly planted baby Groot. Rocket continued to work with the Guardians, when they were hired by the Sovereign to kill the Abelisk. However, Rocket took the job as a way to steal Anulax batteries, with the intention of selling them later. This enraged Aisha, the Sovereign's Golden High Priestess, who declared war on the Guardians and hired the Ravagers to capture them. Rocket and Groot were soon captured by Taser Face under the command of Yanda Udanta, forcing Rocket and Udanta to work together to free themselves and kill Taser Face. During his time with Udanta, Rocket learned to better himself, and wishing to save his family of Guardians, he joined Udanta during the battle on the planet of Ego. For years later, the Guardians rescued Thor after the Asgardians were slaughtered by Thanos, who had initiated Infinity War. The Guardians split up, while the rest of the team returned to nowhere to find the Reality Stone. Rocket and Groot accompanied Thor to Nidavellir to obtain the Stormbreaker. Using the Bifrost Bridge, the trio traveled to Earth to join the Battle of Wakanda, where they fought alongside the Winter Soldier. Their efforts to stop Thanos were unsuccessful, and Rocket was one of the only Guardians to survive Thanos' subsequent massacre, along with Nebula. Rocket joined the Avengers on their journey to the Garden, where he witnessed Thor decapitate Thanos. Rocket spent the next five years as a member of the Avengers, under the command of Natasha Romanoff. In 2023, after discovering how to safely traverse time, Rocket and Thor traveled back in time to 2013, where he extracted the ether from Jane Foster in Asgard. With the six Infinity Stones used to resurrect Snap victims, Rocket participated in the Battle of Earth against an alternate Thanos and his army. After attending Iron Man's funeral, Rocket abandoned the Avengers and joined the Guardians, preparing to leave Earth and return to his cosmic adventures. Rocket and the Guardians participated in several missions with Thor, including the Battle of Indigar. However, after the threat of Gore, the God Butcher, Thor left the team to help the Asgardians, while Rocket and the other Guardians returned to the cosmos. After buying Nowhere from the Collector, Rocket worked with Cosmo to rebuild it. So what does it imply that Rocket's story will culminate in this next installment? There is something specific, which many fans noticed in the first trailer of this upcoming film. In it we get to hear Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, say we've been running away, all our lives, I'm tired of running, Pete. Which leads Rocket to say, I'm done running, Pete. This scene was more than enough for fans to confirm this theory. Why? In all of his interactions with Star-Lord, Rocket always refers to him as Quill. And if there's one thing we know about this character, it's that he makes himself look like a gruff, selfish character who thinks only of himself. In fact, that's how we knew him, but over the years we can see that this is not the case, and that he is a person who cares, and even goes out of his way to help those he considers close to him. Excluding Groot Rocket, he has never had friends or family who accepted him for who he is, but rather labeled him as weird and marginalized him. In fact, we can say that the members of his team are the only family he has ever known and have accepted him for who he is. So when we hear Rocket call Star-Lord Pete, we are witnessing how he has grown attached to the Guardian. And it leads us to assume that he will sacrifice himself for the sake of his family, and conclude his story in the MCU. We also saw how in one part of the trailer, they are carrying Rocket Raccoon as if something terrible had happened. The death of Rocket could be the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy, which would lead Star-Lord to escape with the new version of Gamora to other places, or even everyone could lose their lives. But this is not the end of the Guardians, for as we know, there is the multiverse and multiple timelines, which could eventually bring together other versions of the Guardians and the Avengers. Maybe we will see the end of this version of Rocket Raccoon, but we will see him in the future. But tell me what you think about this theory. Do you think Rocket will be sacrificing himself to save his team and his family? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies,
don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on the Oasis Geek.